Trevor Loudon, you, you expressed some concern about this particular election and coming from Australasia, as you do, and visiting the U.S. How does the rest of the world view the importance of this election? Well, the rest, the rest of the world understands that really world stability depends on a strong, an economically and militarily strong United States of America. We understand that you know, to keep Russia under control, to keep China under control, the, the U.S. needs to be the dominant world economic and military power. And we, and we can be allied to the United States. But see, the thing is, if, if the Democrats get in in this election, there's, there's two problems. The first is that Hillary Clinton will get to nominate probably another two or three Supreme Court justices. They will be extreme liberals and they will negotiate away or, or trade away America's first and second amendments. And they will be virtually impossible to get back if that's done. The second thing is this, is that there are between 8 and 30 million illegal immigrants in this country. Now, we know that when they get voting rights, they tend to vote about 80% Democrat. So by granting amnesty to these people and bringing a whole bunch of um, refugees from the Middle East, that will create a permanent Democratic Party majority in this country. They will effectively become a one-party state with all the tyranny that that entails. So America needs to realize you're only one election away from effectively a one-party state, one election away from losing your First, Am First and Second Amendment rights, and if that happens to America, every Western country is in huge trouble. Every Western country, if America falls, every Western country falls. There will be no freedom left anywhere on the planet. There will be nowhere to run. So this is a critical election. Should Americans who uh, may not adore Donald Trump overlook their uh, 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 lack of appeal by, from this, uh, this candidate? If they don't love Trump, but you're saying that uh, Hillary's uh, a, a worse option, or the Democrats are a worse option, what should people do? Yeah, well, this is a matter of the personal conscience. You know, some people are, love Donald Trump and they should support him to the hilt. Some people are, are iffy and some people hate him. Now, they've got to look at, but the thing is, it's not just the election. There's two factors to this. Um, Donald Trump has, there's a chunk of the conservative base who does not like Trump. Trump can a attract other people that the conservatives don't normally get. A lot of blacks and Hispanics will vote for Trump that normally would not vote Republican. A lot of working class people will vote for Trump. But he, has, he hasn't got some of the conservative base. So what I'm suggesting is that he names his cabinet. Dilute, you know, so that, you know, so that cabinet members that appeal to all elements of the base. Like for libertarians, name Rand Paul as the Secretary of the Treasury. Um, name Sarah Palin, Secretary of Energy, and her job is to free up the energy fields, drill baby drill, you know. John Bolton, Secretary of State. Um, maybe Alan West, Secretary of um, Defense. Um, uh, Senator Sessions, Secretary of Homeland Security. So make sure that Wall, that border wall does get built you know so there's that he can do that and he can re reunite the base that way the other thing is if you still don't want to support Mr Trump pick out some senators because there's several senate races that are up for grab this election cycle and we have to save the senate because if the Democrats are in power, but we control the Senate, we can still blunt Hillary Clinton to some degree. If Trump is the president and he's good, he needs the Senate to support him. If he's bad, he needs the Senate to keep him under control. So really what we should be focusing on is if you can't support Trump wholeheartedly, if that's not what you wanted to do, work, pick out the Senate races that are up for grabs and get behind those, send money to those senators, volunteer for their campaigns, um, you know, become a phone banker for them, etc. We have to win the, we, we have to win this one because if we don't, um, the illegal immigrants alone will make Americans minorities in their own country and you can't, you just cannot roll that back. It's not something you can just vote out of existence.
very well spoken. Thank you. Okay. Oh, you're most welcome.